four companies, all possible Twitter buyers. Helium leak could have cost Falcon 9 explosion, Uber's new selfie security measure, and more. It's Friday, September 23rd, and this is Crunch Report. Happy Friday, everyone! Ready for the weekend. Hope you had a productive week. Let's dive into some tech news. Lots of action happening around Twitter right now. CNBC has reported, and we have also independently heard, that Salesforce, Google, Verizon, and Microsoft are all possible buyers of Twitter. Salesforce and Google apparently are the two most serious and make the most sense to the deal, according to the rumblings. Microsoft bought LinkedIn recently, so Salesforce could be eyeing it to counter Microsoft's social play. Verizon bought AOL and Yahoo, so there's thinking Twitter could be a strong third pillar. Google makes sense since they make money off ads and own YouTube. So a match between Twitter and YouTube could work well together. And Microsoft loves the color blue. Twitter bird is blue, bam! I don't know why Microsoft, they bought LinkedIn. They're most likely chilling for now. So who will be the lucky suitor? We'll find out soon. Delivery by drone. Right now, it seems kind of tough to imagine as an option to select when checking out. But I bet you in the future, my kids will just see it as an everyday norm. UPS kicked off trials of deliveries with a pilot flight to drop a small package to a summer camp located on an island in the Atlantic. The three mile journey took about eight minutes using a drone branded with UPS badging and colors and supplied by Sci-Fi Works, a Massachusetts based drone company that supplies both the hardware and software for drone operations. The big news here is that this happened after the FAA guidelines for drone testing were introduced and tests like these are the right step in getting drone delivery approved for everyday use. Earlier this month, we covered the explosion of the SpaceX Falcon 9 on route to deliver Facebook's internet bearing satellite to space. Well, today we have an update. Hand in hand, SpaceX, the FAA, NASA, and the Air Force have come to the conclusion that the problems could have been caused by a leak in the second stage rocket's cryogenic helium system. No biggie. I had the same problem when I was getting ready for work this morning. Just unplug it, jam it back in there. It's all good, Musk. Trust me. As SpaceX continues its inquiry, we should know more about what caused the leak to begin with. The good news is that the launch pad was mostly spared from damage and launches could resume as early as November. Now for a word from our sponsor, Braintree is a payments platform that goes beyond powering your payments to helping build your business. Visit BraintreePayments.com slash CrunchReport. Amidst legal drama both domestic and abroad, Airbnb secured itself a nice little $555 million present this week from Google Capital and Technology Crossover Ventures. The Series Z, or whatever they're calling it, should give the company ample flexibility as it prepares to IPO. TechCrunch previously speculated that the company was interested in raising something last month, but this week's Form D filing with the SEC made things official. The deal is expected to close at an even higher value of $750 or even $850 million. While this may sound like god money, it isn't even the largest round in Airbnb history. The company closed a $1.5 billion Series E last year, also amidst rumors of an IPO. Uber is rolling out a new security measure that prevents driver fraud. It's a selfie system that, if you're a driver, every once in a while, the app asks you to take a selfie photo of yourself, and it compares it against a photo you uploaded when you went through the onboarding process. The system has been in pilot for a few months now, and Uber says over 99% of drivers during testing were verified. Real-time ID check is rolling out across cities where Uber operates. Safety? That sounds like a thumbs up to me. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on YouTube and on iTunes and on YouTube and on the internet and wherever your heart desires. Just listen to yourself. All right, have a good weekend, and we'll see you Monday. Yeah.